Okay, I'm gonna give you guys the chart, the whole um, biochemical thing, and from there, uh, you guys can give me an answer. We have, what is the first precursor molecule to all of these? Cholesterol. Uh, cholesterol. cholesterol. It forms pregnenolone and then progesterone. This progesterone goes on to become androgens. It also goes on to become, uh, be careful of the way I'm drawing because uh, when I draw the enzymes, I need to draw the arrow which goes through this. Okay. Progesterone, it becomes mineralocorticoids. and also glucocorticoids. There is one more mineral corticoid which is important. It is 11 deoxycorticosterone. And then aldosterone. Glucocorticoids become Okay, this is the chart. Here are the enzyme deficiencies. 17 alpha. 17, you need the enzyme 17 alpha for the reaction to progress in these roots, these two roots. What happens if the cholesterol cannot go into those two roots? If the progesterone can't go through those routes. Aldosterone levels, levels will be increased. Okay. Because uh, if I was to cover this part up, this entire section is not happening. So all that progesterone will go on to become aldosterone. What happens if there's too much aldosterone? Hypertension. Hypertension. Hypertension, high sodium, low potassium. Then what about if it is a male? So there's going to be low cortisol. That's not really going to manifest. What about low androgens? What are androgens? Sex hormones. Male sex hormones. Okay male sex hormones. So if androgens are low in a male, in a newborn baby, are you able to tell that's a male or a female? No. If it is XY, ambiguous. Okay. If it is a female, then they will not have any problem. No problem. Okay. The next one is, if this enzyme so over here is deficient, it is called 21 hydroxylase. What happens to all the progesterone? Where will it go? If you stop the pathway before it enters the min, yeah. So it's going to block, this entire section is blocked off now. Where can it go now? The, the 21 hydroxylase yeah, to form androgens. 21 hydroxylase. So there's going to be increased androgens. In a male, is it an issue? No. Male? No issue. In a female, X, X, what happens? It's the word. I'll give you guys time to write, just uh, listen to this. 
what's the word for high androgens what will happen in a baby uh, okay not in a baby mm. what happens if there's high androgens what's the word actually sexual car uh, second virilization very virilization this means that a female let's say a baby uh, when you look at their genitalia you cannot tell if it is a boy or a girl because there is going to be an enlarged clitoris okay and then in a old okay in older patients virilization will present with uh, increased hair females will have a beard all of this you see that in polycystic ovarian syndrome pcos and this is becoming very common due to increasing obesity pcos lecture for another day okay i'll just leave it. okay now we have high androgens what about the other hormones low aldosterone what happens if there's low aldosterone what happens hypotension hypotension because of sodium being low low na plus means hypotension and due to high k plus and you will also get high k plus okay let's leave it at there is another enzyme deficiency that is if it occurs at this point this is 17 sorry 11 beta hydroxylase it will have high androgens and this time instead of hypotension hypotension you have hypertension okay you have hypertension because this molecule is being produced okay you have hypertension because the, none of the progesterone is going to cortisol it is going to 11 hydroxy corticosterone and the androgens so you get hypertension that's how you differentiate 11 11 beta and 21 now what is the answer for this question one person got it right and at 21 21 yes the answer is 21 hydroxylase deficiency let's take a look uh, the boy is brought to the office due to vomiting and poor feeding uh, his mother received proper prenatal care and a full term infant was born at home blood pressure is 40 by 24 what is the normal blood pressure of a human 120 120 by 80 uh, in a neonate it can go to okay this is hypotension but they're not going to die because of this pulse is obviously going to be elevated okay when blood pressure is low is the heart beats faster respirations are also going to be elevated physical examination is not notable for sunken eyes a depressed anterior fontanel and dry mucous membrane what is this what do these symptoms indicate dehydration okay and due to vomiting and poor feeding capillary refill time is 3 seconds and skin turgor is decreased because there's no blood this patient is hypertensive no abdominal masses are noted general examination shows a, a normal uncircumcised penis so hypotension with normal uh, normal male genitalia and low sodium high potassium answer is 21 okay if it is not clear please ask try question number 